Using lists within Reflect just got a major overhaul. There's been a ton of bug fixes, performance improvements, and even new features. So you're going to notice a vast improvement on the usability of lists within Reflect. So I wanted to take this opportunity to run through how to use them and some of the things that you can do when using lists within your Reflect notes. But note that not all of these things are new. It's just a comprehensive look at how to use the feature. So to start off with here, I'm in my daily note. You can see I've already got a bullet point in here, but I'll clear that out just for the demo and begin using the dash and a space. And if you wanted to start a list that had maybe a larger theme, I might want to use a heading in it. So now I can use a hash and a space and it will turn it into a heading within the list. So for this, I will call it what I did today. I'll press enter to create a new bullet and tab to indent. You can now also indent indefinitely into the page. So if I keep pushing tab, you'll see that the bullet keeps going in. Without writing anything, I can backspace out of it, or I can also use the tab return, and that also goes back. All right, so maybe the first thing I did today was I tried a new morning routine. And let's say that instead of wanting to do bullets for what I did for my new morning routine, I want to have a numbered list. For that, I can just write a number one period in a space, and I now have a list. So I can say, drink a glass of water first thing when I wake up, then take the dog for a walk outside, and maybe do a 10-minute meditation. All right, perfect. So now let's maybe add another item in here. And for this, I'm going to change it back to a bullet, which I can use the ship return for. Oops. Command return, sorry. And let's say for the second thing, I met with Jim about new sales strategy. And let's say for the meeting here, we want to keep a log of what exactly happened. So I can say, discussed new outreach plan and maybe brainstorm lead generation. Perfect. And then we can maybe add one that is an action list. So for that below, we're again going to use command return and that's going to turn it into a to-do list. So maybe one of my items is share brainstorm list with Jim and get feedback from the rest of the team. Awesome. And uh, if we didn't have this yet, we can also use the shortcut of brackets to create a to-do list. So if I just do an opening and closing bracket together and space, it will turn it into a to-do to -do list item. If for some reason you want to enter it already checked off, you can just add an X in between them and it will add it as a checked off item. Once you've completed a checked off item, you can once again use command return and it will check it off for you. So just cycling through those using command return, it will give you a bullet point, change the bullet point to a to-do list and check off the to-do list. So we'll kind of close that one out here. And then maybe for my next one, I want to say had dinner with family for my father's birthday. Awesome. And in here, let's say that we don't want to actually just list things that happen. maybe we want to describe the evening. So I'm going to backspace out that bullet point and I'm going to say I made a prime rib on my trigger that turned out great. And if I was actually taking notes here, I would probably want to backlink to that recipe so that I have it saved so I can use again. But for the sake of this demo, I'll just kind of leave that as it is. And maybe we want to describe something else that happened. So I'll say a funny thing that happened. We all accidentally wore the same shirt color. And you can do more than just add text in these. So for this one, let us say that I want to add an image. So we all wore the same color. So I'm going to go into my finder here on my other screen. And I'm just going to drag in an image from the night. And I can resize that so that it doesn't just take up the whole page there. Awesome.
So now on this note, we can see that it's getting a little bit cluttered and I've got a lot of different things. So let's say that I want to collapse some of it. And there's a couple of different ways I can do that. One is just by clicking on the bullet point there and you can see it collapses it and I can do that with any of these to make it nice and clean. You can also click on them again to expand. And if you want to, you can use the option command and brackets to collapse. So option command and open bracket that closes it and close the bracket that will open it again. Just another way you can toggle. And if I want, I can collapse them all the way just into one. And then I have my nice clean list there. And then if I maybe say did these out of order. So let's say instead of meeting with Jim about new sales strategy first, maybe I went and had lunch with my family first. And so to move that up, I can use the option and arrow keys as a shortcut. And this will move your to-do list items around. And you can do this with any list. Item. And finally, I'm going to open these up again for a last example here. Let's say that I want to take several items and I decide these are not actually ordered items and I want them to all be uh, to-do list items. I can select them all and use the same shortcuts. So I can toggle those there between and it takes me through the same sequence. So you can see there are quite a lot of things that you can do. You can make your list as complex or as simple as you want, but even if they start to get out of hand, you can use the organization features to simplify them, collapse them, so that there's too much to deal with on page.